Hey everybody, welcome to my new YouTube channel. My name is Keenan. Today I wanted to share what is in my bag. I mostly wanted to do this because I love watching other people do these and I just love talking about discs. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I try to keep it down to a reasonable amount of time. It's probably still gonna be a little bit longer than uh, you, you might expect. <laughs> Um, but yes, without any further ado, here is my 2020 in the bag. So I think we'll start off this video with my putting putters. This past year, I started using the Yeti Pro AVRs. I like them because they're a little bit more firm and less flexible than the JKs, but a little bit more grippy than the KC Pros. Um, they don't fade as hard as the KC Pros, but um, they're pretty basic point and shoot got a nice grip on them and they're pretty reliable even whenever there's a little bit of wind out there so they're pretty solid putters for putting moving on to throwing putters i have several molds in the bag actually and i'm trying a few different things first of which right here is the discraft esp zone i don't know why i throw it in esp as opposed to z a lot of people throw them in z plastic i just you know, for whatever reason, prefer ESP, but it's just a pretty standard overstable approach disc. These are good because you can forehand them pretty reliably and they're really, really comfortable in the hand. They're good in wind conditions. You can basically rely on the, the zone from anything uh, within 250 feet. You can have a pretty reliable up and down. Another disc similar to the zone that I've been trying out recently is a new release from Innova. This was the USDGC pre-release Croc in Star Plastic. This thing is crazy overstable. It's not, in my opinion, as comfortable as the zone for a forehand, but it is just as reliable, if not more reliable, in the wind than the zone is, and it is far more overstable. So it basically does the same job, just more dramatically. And I, I actually really like the feel of the croc in the hand. So moving on up, my probably most thrown approach discs um, are two MVP atoms in cosmic electron plastic. Um, these things are really, really nice. Um, as throwing putters, they're basically dead straight. Um, whenever they beat in, they get to be pretty understable pretty quick as they are, you know, baseline plastic. But they are super comfortable in the hand. You can throw them forehand or backhand just as comfortably. And basically you can rely on a perfectly straight flight for most of their lives. This one's a little bit more beat in and I got it from the Trilogy Challenge. Um, and this one's pretty much brand new. Basically dead straight shots. I can throw these up to 300 feet pretty accurately. And I probably, if I was gonna get an ace in my bag with any one mold, it'd probably be these. Um, so yeah, the MVP Atom in Cosmic Electron Plastic. Moving up to the mid-ranges now, I carry, what is this, four molds right now, and they're completely different. Um, so starting off with the most understable, I have a Dynamic Discs, Discs Warrant in Fusion Burst Plastic. Um, this is super understable. I got this off of, like a used disc rack at um, a local retailer. But I love this thing. I mean, it's super comfortable in the hand. I don't use it for forehands very much. It's strictly backhands. But for hyzer flips in the woods, there are a few things more reliable than this because you you basically don't have to put in any power on this thing. And it'll flip up to flat for the majority of its flight. And I find that it doesn't actually turn over until very, very late in the flight. Or it generally doesn't get completely out of control with the understability um, like you might expect it to from an understable mid. But um, I, I find this thing to be pretty reliable. I don't throw it too many times in a round. But whenever there is a line for it, this thing is, is generally pretty reliable for me. Step up from that is your classic prototypical DX Rock. Nothing too special about this one. It's literally just pretty beat in. So this is for kind of like late flip, like slow fade type of shots. Whenever I want something a little bit slower than the warrants or, you know, the other two discs that I have in here, the Rock is generally the, 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 the disc I'll go for. Um, it's super reliable but obviously in dx plastic you have to change these things out constantly so i have a couple of backups but it feels good in the hand you know exactly what it's going to do it's a rock and as it beats in i'm hoping that it might be able to take the spot of the the warren eventually but um right now it is just pretty much straight to understable confident rock you know um the next two well the next one i guess is just a z buzz um, very, very pretty pink Z plastic, I must say. Um, but this is just like your prototypical mid-range 
It is... It, the, the interesting thing about a buzz and why it knocked my rock threes out of the bag was the buzz doesn't do like Heiser flips very willingly. Um, the, the new run of rock threes, I don't know what's going on with them really, but if you power up on them, they have this tendency to flip over and they don't come back. The buzz stays on whatever line you started on or whatever angle you started on, and it carries that for the entire flight. So if you want to, if you throw it out on Heiser, even with a pretty good amount of power, it'll hold that angle. And then, you know, just gracefully land on the ground. But it'll do the same thing if you throw flat or if you throw Anheuser. So I really like that about this disc. It's pretty unique in that a mid-range, even if you power up on it, won't, you know, flip over on you or just be uncontrollable whenever you add additional power. So the Z-Buzz, super reliable. I, I really like this thing in the hand, but it's slightly faster than the, than the Rock. So I'll use the Rock for more, like, touchy shots. And the Buzz is, you know, for slightly faster shots than the Rock. And if it's a little bit windier out, I have this, a 2017 Ledgestone Edition Jawbreaker Buzz OS. Um, this thing's really, really cool. It's perfectly flat top, so it it's, feels really good for forehand, but I throw it I throw it both ways. This thing is, is really good on windier days um, for approach shots that you just need to get to the ground. Um, it, it's a little bit beat in, so it's lost some of its overstability. But it just feels so good in the hand, and, and you know exactly what it's going to do even whenever the wind picks up a little bit. So I like to have this in there for a bit more adverse weather conditions. So moving on now to fairway drivers, I carry, what is it now, uh, four molds? Yeah, four molds. So the first of which is my most understable, which is a Lat 64 River in Optoplastic. The, the Lat 64 River is sort of like, you know, Innova's Leopard or um, like Dismania's FD. Um, very glidey, very flippy. You don't have to put much power on this thing to get it to turn. And I like it for sort of like woodsy shots or very touch turnover shots. It basically is a dead straight fairway, but you can't put too much power on this thing. Or, but whenever it starts turning over, it stays turned over. It doesn't come back until very much later in the flight. And you have to give it some air for if you want it to fade at all. But it feels super comfortable in the hand, basically strictly for backhand only. But if you need to shape shots in the woods, um, this is a pretty reliable disc to do that. So the Lat 64 River and Optoplastic. A step up from that, which is slightly more stable than the River, is an Infinite Discs Centurion. Um, I... This is the first disc that I have thrown from Infinite, and I genuinely love this thing. It goes so far. It can handle some... So this is basically strictly for me used for, like, Heiser flips in the woods. But it is super reliable, super consistent. I, I think it's, like, super comfortable in the hand, but it, it's also really good for forehands, I find. It's for... I guess it might, it might just be my hands, but, like... <laughs> They're very, very comfortable. I like the feel of it. I like the plastic. Infinite's discs are very, very pretty. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice fairway driver. Um, so you can get it to do basically whatever you want it to. And it does those things very, very consistently. So yeah, the Infinite Disc Centurion in Splatter S Blend plastic is what this one is. Next um, is a disc I think basically everyone should have in their bag. Um, I, or either that or I'm just like super basic, but I have two of them. Um, I have Firebirds. Um, I have one just super flat top champion Firebird. And I have one uh, 2019 Nate Sexton Firebird, the Tour Series. Um, the difference between these two is this flat top Firebird is massively overstable compared to the Sexton Firebird. Um, this flat top one is genuinely a flat top. It's basically like a board. Whereas the Sexton Firebird, while it's still pretty flat, has a little bit of dome to it. So the Sexton Firebird I mostly use for forehands, and the regular stock stamp Champion Firebird are used for a lot of backhands. These things are just your standard, hey, we need to get to the ground super fast. You know exactly what they're going to do, regardless of the weather condition. So it's nice to have discs in your bag that can give you confidence. Um, I carry two of them just based on, I mean, the, the pink one will fade harder than the blue. But you, you know the exact flight path with these things um, whenever you, as soon as they come out of your hand. So consistency is, I feel like, one of the most important things in the game. And these things bring you that consistency. So they're trustworthy, and that's why I bagged two of them. Um, so next up are, well, there's, there's kind of like a, these are like hybrid fairway mixed with distance drivers. Um, 
But regardless, I have two um, ESP Paul Macbeth Onyxes, um, both max weight. I have one Proto and one of the 1060 um, Onyxes. These things are... They're interesting. They're, I wouldn't say they they qualify really as fairway drivers. These things feel like distance drivers to me. But I guess technically speaking, they are fairway drivers. They just go so far. I know they're listed as being like a um, like a ten six zero three. I think is what yeah. Discraft listed as a ten six zero three. But for me, these things, if I power up on them, they'll flip and like actually turn for a pretty good amount of time before fading back. So these things, you get a full S flight if you power up on them whenever you throw them flat. Or just slightly hyzer. So I like to throw these things for pretty much dead straight shots. Um, or whenever I need a little bit of hookup at the end. But not quite as much as a Firebird, obviously. Um, these things, I'd say, are pretty good out to 400 for me. I don't have, like, the biggest arm, obviously. Um, but I, I can get these things pretty consistently out to 400 without much effort whatsoever. But, yeah. The ESP Onyx in, well, the 1060 print and the Proto. Genuinely love these discs. They feel so good in the hand. Okay, so now for distance drivers. Um, at the moment, I only have two molds in my bag. I don't have the ability to throw anything super duper fast. Um, so yeah, I just found one that I liked and I, I used them basically and I just got a ton of them. So the first one, the, the first mold that is that I have is the Shrike. I have two in star plastic, both are X outs. Um, both are max weight, though it's, you know, I can throw a bit, little bit lighter on, on occasion. These things are for, like, flex shots, turnovers, basically a super understable distance driver. If I power up on one of these, it'll turn over and they won't come back unless you put a massive amount of hyzer on them. But these things I can reliably get out to, like, 465-ish. Um, again, I don't really have the biggest arm in the game. But these things are pretty consistent for that. Like, if you want to power down on something and just reliably get to a, like, 400-ish on a dime, that's what these things are good for. Uh, I don't take these out whenever it's windy, though, at all. Um, these things are not very consistent in the wind, unless, of course, you're throwing, you know, with a tailwind. But in, in any kind of headwind or crosswind situation, these things stay in the bag. They're not coming out just because they are far too touchy in the wind whenever you're trying to power up on something. But otherwise, they are great distance drivers, and I would highly recommend looking into one if you have a, if, you, if your power range is on the lower side. So Star Shrike, I have two of them, 175 gram. And my last mold, even though it's slower, I have it further on down in my bag, I have the Wraith. And currently I have five of them. Um, I have one in Champion Glow plastic, and I have four in Star plastic. So we'll start uh, most understable and we'll go up to stable. First off, I have this 168, um, like dark blue Star Wraith, just your stock stamp 2019 run. These feel so... I don't get these in max weight most of the time. Um, just because I I like the flexibility and like the slightly lower weight. You feel like you can get your hand into it a lot more. And I don't know. It just feels so good to like rip on discs like this. 175, in my opinion, is... is it just like they, they don't feel as good to me in the hand. And I just... You know, comfort is a real big thing whenever it comes to this game. And th these discs... I can get this blue one and my next one farther than anything else. So I can probably pretty confidently put these things out there about 480, almost 500, um, pretty confidently. But these things are good for like hyzer flips and they, you know they're always gonna come back unless you have like a pretty significant headwind. But yeah, there's, uh, so this light blue one, 168. My next one, which is virtually identical, but jet black, um, is another 168 Star Wraith. Um, it does basically the same thing. Perfect for hyzer flips perfect for conditions where you want to get some just max distance but don't really have the arm speed for a destroyer this is what you want to look for so that's my second star wraith um my third one which is actually the one that i use the most is sort is this infinite um stamped star wraith this is another 168 so those first three are are pretty much identical but this one is the most beat in I can use this for flex shots, turnovers, all kinds of different things, and I know this what this one is going to do exactly. For some reason, it's slightly more overstable than those other two, but I, I love this disc. It feels so good in the hand, and again, in that 168-ish range, 
I, the, the flexibility of these discs is just fantastic. It feels so good to just rip into them. So uh, three 168 gram star raids. And my remaining two are slightly more overstable for windier days and things of that nature. I have just another stock stamp um, Wraith. It, but this one is 175. So for more overstable shots, windy days, um, I'll pull this one out. You can get, I can't get as much distance out of this one because for some reason it's like super overstable. But um, I use this one strictly for backhands off the tee. Um, but it feels really good. So it's just a more overstable version of the previous orange one that I have. So 175 Star Wraith. And the last disc in my bag is a 175, or actually no, this is a 171, uh, Champ Glow Wraith. I use this for forehands and backhands because for some reason this one's like really flat comparatively, but this thing is like super overstable. So if it's windy, I don't care how windy it is, I, I'll pull this thing out and you know exactly what it's gonna do every single time. Um, it feels great in the hand though. Um, you can rip on it and it feels fantastic. Whenever you turn it over, you know it's always gonna come back. Um, I'd say this is kind of like very Destroyer-esque, but I really like the feel of the Wraith though in my hand. And so I just figured I'd, you know, limit the number of molds in my bag. And uh, so yeah, that's the reason we have the Champ Glow Wraith um, 171. And with that, those are all of the discs in my bag. Um, I'm sure as time goes on, I will be switching molds in and out as, you know, the need arises. And as I get better, I'll probably learn to throw things and commonize my bag as, as best I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and maybe even subscribe. Hopefully, I will be able to put out more content like this in the future. Um, be sure to also leave a comment with any recommendations that you guys might have. I love hearing input from people about maybe what other kinds of molds to throw or things that um, people would recommend to me. So that would be fantastic. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you.